Hey everybody, welcome back to another new release preview video. Yesterday I stopped off at Walmart and I was met with a brand new product that I was not expecting to see. Look at the shelves, they were stocked with a bunch of baseball cards, but this is what caught my eye first. They are coins by the Highland Mint, officially licensed MLB trading coins, two coins per box, and you have the opportunity to find some actual gold and silver plated coins in there. We're gonna open those up right now, but first let me show you what else was on the shelves. There's Holiday, which I picked up for a video. I did that yesterday. You can check that out if you haven't already. It's a fun video looking for short prints. We've got some mosaic hanger boxes. We've got some heritage high number blaster boxes. There's some Chronicles baseball, a little bit of optic, some Chronicles mega boxes, some update, just a whole bunch of stuff on the shelves, but today it's all about the coins. So let's go ahead and open them up. All right, everybody, it's time to check out these hanger boxes. You might see these at your local Walmart. I stopped off at a couple Walmarts, actually three Walmarts on my way home from work, and uh, I was looking for Topps Holiday. I did find the Topps Holiday, but I also found these on the shelves at the first Walmart. Now, the other Walmarts that I stopped at, the housing boxes were completely empty, so people grabbed all of these. So I got a little suspicious slash curious, and I was like, what are these going for on eBay? Are people flipping these? Now, these are about $18 per box at Walmart price, and I was looking online, and they were selling for about $20. I think the max I saw was $30, so there's not a huge markup for these, but kind of a weird little crossover into the coin uh, collector's universe these coins by the Highland Mint. Now, they are officially licensed, I guess, by both MLB and the Players Association, so they are allowed to use the logos, it looks like, as well as the images. So when I first saw these, I was like, wait a minute, is Topps trying to come back with those coins that they had like in 1990? The last time I remember seeing coins, I think, was in 2018 and 2019 blaster boxes of archives they put little two packs of coins in there and uh those things were always just annoying to me but uh, personally i'm not a big fan of coins but i am going to uh, partake in this break i've got half of these boxes and david has the other half of the boxes we'll see what we can find my plan is to maybe just auction off the coins that i pull out of here but it looks like there's maybe multiple series of this you see here's series one i think these are all the different coins that we can pull now, there's no big, uh, no. I guess there is a couple big rookies in there. Wander Franco and Key Brian Hayes, Dylan Carlson and Joe Adele, Alec Bohm. So the last five coins of the set are the rookies. I, I really want to find the Wander Franco. I think that would be kind of cool. He doesn't have a baseball card yet. We have to wait for uh, 2022 Tops Series 1, which comes out, I believe, the first week of February. We're only a couple months away from that, actually. Pretty crazy. But um, that's going to be coming on the horizon. But let's find Wander's first coin, I guess. So it'll be fun. Let's check it out, folks. Uh, so if you see these at your local Walmart, you can decide if this is something you may want to pick up. So David's got the first three boxes. Best of luck to you. Let's see what we can find. And I uh, lost my box cutter. So a little blade there. All right, Highland Mint. Let's see what we've got inside. So, wow, that's... That's literally all you get is two coins. All right. And you also get a checklist as well. So here's the checklist. I, wow. So there's different, okay, there's different um, consistencies of this. There's gold. There's troy ounce, fine silver, silver plate, collector's coin. So I guess there's different uh, values to these coins. That's kind of interesting can actually go after a real gold-plated coin. There's a Mookie Betts. It is pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of cool. And it tells us that it is a uh, collector's coin. So that's basically the common. And we have a Raphael Devers as well, which is also limited edition. 3,000 of these were made. Regular collector's coin for David. That's your first box. They do have a little bit of weight to them. So next stop, let's go with box number two and see what we can find here. Man, they use all this space for just, I don't know why. They only really need like a small amount of space to checklist again. You've got yourself another Devers and a, wow. What terrible collation. The same exact 
boxes. You would think they'd at least divide it up a little bit. Mookie Betts and Raphael Devers again. Next box. I have to stop slamming that knife down. Sorry if that blew your ears out, headphone users. Here's our next one. Please don't be Raphael Devers and um, Mookie Betts. That would be terrible. If that's the case, David, if you get them one more time, uh, if you want to contact me, we can work out a trade. Looks like, uh, did you even get a checklist in this box? You did not. All right, so we have a Tatis. Very nice, a Fernando Tatis Jr. And it's a Raphael Devers. But you might not want to trade this one. Take a look at it. It's a silver coin. This one's just out of 3,000, but this one is silver plated. Only 300 of these made, so a silver plated coin. I don't know what this is worth. I'm probably I'm going to head on over to eBay. Maybe you can do it for me if you'd like to let us know in the comment section. What does a Raphael Devers silver plated coin go for? It's, there's only 300 of those made, so um, I'm guessing the, the gold plated. I don't know if it tells us how many were made of each one, so here we go. The silver, it looks like it's real small. There are 300 of those were made. The gold, it looks like there was 30 made. And the one troy ounce of fine silver is limited to just one of one. So that's what you're after is that one of one. So pretty cool. Nice that there's Chase. I just thought these were like really dumb, just collectible coins. There's actually some valuable metals in here. So now, Dave, and those were your coins. Now the last three boxes are for me. So let's see if I can get lucky and strike the uh, Troy Allen. Let's see what we can find here. Man, I gotta find that box cover. I've got a bunch of them, but uh, they'll show up eventually. All right. I can already see the numbers on it. I struck out on this one in terms of getting the gold. I got a Jose Altuve collectible coin, and also I've got Shohei Otani. Okay, I'll take that one. That's probably one of the more collectible coins in the set. Definitely a nice one. I'm hoping to find the Wander Franco for myself. Let's see if we can find it in the next one. By the way, before I move on, just a quick little public service announcement. I'm thinking about doing an auction tonight for Ike Rodriguez, the uh, painter. And this is going to be given away to anybody that um, participates in the auction. So basically, it'll be a raffle if you win a, an auction. Your name will go into... Uh, Go and do a list, and then we'll just raffle that off amongst everybody that won a card and paid. I think that'll be kind of fun. And also, we have the uh, 12 Days of Troutmas coming up with a bunch of 2011 products looking for Mike Trout um, rookie cards. I've been collecting these now for about a year, and I've got about 12 videos worth of stuff that we can do. Also, Bryce Harper could be found in that one. That'll be really fun. That'll be coming up sometime soon in December. I started selling spots for it on Patreon. You can check us out on Patreon. If you haven't yet already, it's $4.99 per month. Now, with that being said, let's get back to hunting some gold and see what we can find. All right, so looks like I struck out again. What's up with not giving you the checklist in every box? We got the first two had checklists. All right, so I've got Fernando Tatis Jr. I'll take that one. And Bryce Harper, you got the MVP in the third place MVP guy right there. Not too bad. Last box. Thank you very much for being here, by the way, everybody. I really appreciate that. Hopefully you've had a nice Thursday. We've got a double upload day with Throwback Thursday as well. Also, the auctions are three videos today. Hope you can process all that or have enough time to catch it all. And uh, thank you so much for watching and hitting that subscribe button. All right, here we go. Last box for me. I think I have a silver. Wow, a Mike Trout silver out of 300. How about that? There we go. So, I mean, the Devers silver was pretty cool, but this, I believe, is going to be the best coin of the video. We also have Shohei Otani once again. Very nice. So, a nice run there. Again, I'll probably auction my... Uh, portion of this break off in maybe one of the next uh, upcoming auctions i'm gonna have to check out what this is worth just to have a ballpark idea of course uh, all my auctions start off of whatever you guys started off with they could sell for a dollar um there's mike trout silver plated coin out of 300 pretty nice stuff right there that is a big hit so that'll do it for this new release preview video not cards but coins so welcome coin collectors if you're new here um maybe Stick around. We open lots of cards, and maybe it's something you might be into. So that'll do it. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Have a great rest of your Thursday, and I will see you all later. Good night, everybody.